Hey, how's it going, fan friends? Welcome to Mindful Combat. If you're new to the channel, my name is Rohan, and this is my platform where I do fight sports related content. So if you're new here, why don't help me grow my platform? All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like it, and maybe hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. But that said, in this video, I'll be taking a deep look at why Conor McGregor will be destroying Dustin Poirier to seal off his lead against Dustin Poirier at 2 0 and end this rivalry once and for all. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I've done a video on why Dustin Poirier will be destroying Conor McGregor. And I think that you guys should definitely check that one out if you haven't. I'm not just being biased here, I'm looking at it from both sides. After these two videos, I'll be doing a detailed fight analysis and breaking down the fight to give my official prediction. These videos are not actually my predictions, I'm just detailing why one side beats the other. And in this video, I'll be taking a look at why Conor McGregor will be absolutely destroying Dustin Poirier in the rematch. It's funny to think about this fight, and it's funny to think about this fight for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons that stands out for me is that the difference in the journey that these two young men have had. So Conor McGregor was a star that shot right up. After Dustin Poirier, he went on to win the featherweight title and then the lightweight title. And in the space of a year or two years after this fight, he was uh, fighting Floyd Mayweather in the main event of a boxing fight in what was a, a fight that was worth $100 million. And in the meantime, Dustin Poirier has been grinding away, fighting the best in the world at mixed martial arts, across two weight classes. He's won an interim world championship to you know, add to his legacy and he's fought some of the best lightweights the world has seen. In that time, what we have seen is that Dustin Poirier has been in war after war after war. And that brings me to the first point as to why Conor McGregor will be beating him, is damage. Dustin Poirier has sustained a substantial amount of damage since these two men first fought. Dustin Poirier has been in war after war and his chin has never been the best. Those wars eventually catch up with you and Conor McGregor is a guy who's precise, carries big power in his hand and we know he has the ability to knock out Dustin Poirier as he did quite easily in their first fight. So I believe that the wars will have caught up with Dustin Poirier coming into this fight and that Conor McGregor may be able to land a big deep bomb and be able to take Dustin Poirier out early as he does. Now Dustin Poirier is of course hittable as well and that is a big problem for Dustin Poirier. The second reason why Conor McGregor will be destroying Dustin Poirier in the rematch will be just that, that he is hittable. Dustin Poirier is a guy who likes to get into these wild brawls and whilst he's been getting by and he's shown to be a lot more durable at 155, we have seen fighters such as Dan Hooker, Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje land some big shots on Dustin Poirier and put him in big trouble. The one that jumped to my mind particularly is Eddie Alvarez. Now that's a stark comparison because when you think about what Conor McGregor done when he fought Eddie Alvarez, well that was a one-sided beating. So you've got to wonder how hit or how hittable Dustin Poirier is going to be in this fight. If history is anything to go off, he'll be very hittable and Conor McGregor will certainly be taking advantage of those opportunities. The game that is proposed in this fight you know, complements Conor McGregor's game. So stylistically, this is a great fight for Conor McGregor. And that's another reason, the stylistic matchup that is proposed. Dustin Poirier is not a guy that like Khabib Nurmagomedov is going to come out there looking to wrestle Conor McGregor where he gets tired and look to submit him. That's not how Dustin fights. Dustin comes out there and likes to get into brawls, fight and get into slugfests on the street, on the street, <laughs> on the feet. Conor, Dustin Poirier would like to get into a slugfest. And Conor McGregor is a guy who will definitely engage him in just that because he likes to be on his feet and he likes to be throwing out the hands and doing the damage on the feet because that's where he shines. The stylistic matchup that proposes itself here is not one that threatens Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier for that reason will find himself struggling to keep up with Conor McGregor on the feet being that he is technically inferior to Conor McGregor when it comes to boxing. He'll get hit a lot as I've mentioned in my other reasons and Conor McGregor will be able to walk away with the win here. Mentality. Coming into this fight, Dustin Poirier knows that Conor McGregor can hit him clean and he can finish him. Conor McGregor knows he can hit him clean and he can finish him. How is that going to impact him? him how is that going to impact him mentally? Now we know that Dustin Poirier is a very tough, strong, durable, mentally tough dude. Whereas Conor McGregor is a guy who's going to come out there, he's very cocky and confident. But they know what happened last time they met. Dustin Poirier knows last time he met Conor McGregor, he ended up face planted on the floor. Conor McGregor knows that he can do that to Dustin Poirier. So he comes into this fight with a lot of confidence. Does Dustin Poirier have confidence to his name coming into this fight? We can't say that he does because we don't know how he feels coming into this because we know he got knocked out. That's a big, big reason. One of the biggest reasons why I think Conor McGregor will be destroying Dustin Poirier in this fight. I don't think that necessarily. Like I'm saying, it's not my official prediction, but I guess I'm not phrasing this well. It's Conor McGregor's momentum. 
it seems to be the case that Conor McGregor is back into the swing. If you follow him on social media, you know that he's training full time again. You know that he seems to have his passion back again. He said he wanted to fight two to three times this year. That didn't pan out because of the COVID pandemic and the matchups weren't there for Conor. But it seems like he's back there again. And we know from 2015, a motivated in the game Conor who is hungry for success in the fight game is a dangerous Conor McGregor. And you've got to wonder what mentality Conor's coming into this fight. If, if looks are anything to go off, He's incredibly excited to come into the fight. And the fact that Khabib's not in this game no more, he knows that he can become a world champion because he doesn't have to go through Khabib and Magomedov to be able to get it. He can win that world title again and then he can put, you know, begin his onslaught talking trash to everyone again. And that is so, so interesting to think about that Conor McGregor may be back to his mental edge. The biggest reason why I think Conor McGregor is going to win this fight, and it's a really simple reason, is Conor McGregor's punching power and abilities, to his precision and punching power. And whilst that might sound very simplistic, when you can think about the shots that Conor's been able to land throughout his career, the way he's been able to take moment, momentary glimpses or lapses in his opponent's defences and be able to finish the fight with the power that he carries in his left hand, you have to think to yourself that Dustin Poirier being the type of fighter that he is and a guy who's going to engage Conor the way that he's going to engage Conor is going to give Conor an opening. And when Conor sees that opening, he'll take it. And just like we saw in the first fight, Conor will be taking advantage of it and ending Dustin Poirier's night. So guys, these are my reasons why I, I believe, well, I don't believe, but why I'm saying that Conor McGregor will be destroying Dustin Poirier in this fight. Anyways, guys. So new concept that I'm trying out on the channel. Be sure to stick around for my actual detailed full fight analysis and breakdown of this fight. It's one that I cannot wait to watch. If you're new to the channel, remember to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And thank you for watching, guys. I'm Rohan, and this is my...